All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to make blackened tofu zoodles. Stay tuned. So I have carrots here along with some zucchini and squash that I've spiralized. I have some chopped onions and green peppers along with some garlic here. I'm also going to add a little bit of Worcestershire rice vinegar and possibly some soy. Um, I'm trying to come back on sodium so maybe. Go ahead and add your tofu and some sesame seed oil, chopped tofu rather, and go ahead and mix those up well. These turned out to be a little frothier than I expected so I like kind of got in there and stirred them up. Go ahead and add your garlic along with a tablespoon of rice vinegar and before you know it these will blacken. They take no time. Add your chopped onions. At this point you can add your soy sauce as well as your Worcestershire sauce. Go ahead and add your green peppers and mix those well. Before you add the zoodles, you might want to turn the heat down on these to a very low temperature. Go ahead and add your carrots along with your spiralized noodles and toss those well so that they get all of the flavor. I want these to be slightly crisp but not too crispy so that's why I turn the heat down and toss well. At this point, I'm also going to add about a half cup of water so that they saute just a little bit while I add my beetroot leaves. I got these fresh off some beets, so no substitutions for that one. <laughs> Go ahead and mix well and just get in there. Stir it up good. This smells so good. The aromas in your house are gonna be amazing. All right, I added some chopped green onions and a little bit of sesame seeds. And before you know it, you have a nice, tasty dish with a hint of smokiness and a hint of sweet. Just go ahead and dig in. All right, guys, be sure to subscribe. Leave any comments you have below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye. <laughs>